Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy with the Flywing uh, FW450. This is the 2.5 with the belt drive. Done a lot of modifications to this, but I was working on something, and of course, in the background, this is the V3. What I wanted to say was I wanted to kind of clean up the wires, and I was playing around, and I did have a spare. There is something different about this one and that one. Of course, it's your side frames are totally different. But I had a spare FL448. This is the uh, ESC plate for the V3. It kind of looks like this. And what's the difference, you say? Well, with this, you can also have this. This is one of my battery clips. So I'm thinking to myself, why not? So this has a, a couple of metal bars going across and it holds a piece of carbon fiber. I loosened that up. I'm taking it apart because I want to straighten out some wires. I pulled the ESC out of the way, of course. And I'm thinking to myself, the way the battery goes into this one, you can see there's a Velcro pad here. If you take this Velcro pad out, I don't know if it comes stock. I forgot it's been so long take this out of the way that gives you a little bit more area there is a little bit more clearance in the v3 but i just want to show you here's the part the only mod you'd have to do it actually the esc wires slide i mean the motor wires slide right through just like the oh i'm upside down sorry the motor wires slide right through the same way the v3 does and let's plop it in place The only thing difference is the way the frame is cut right here, but that's not a big deal. You'll need to drill two holes and put in four screws, and then the ESC would go right back in place. But you got to remove this plate, right? So you remove this plate. I might do a video of the whole job, but I'm just kind of found it while I was playing around, so I figured I'd let you know. So you remove this ESC plate, toss it in the trash, you put this from the V3 in. Let me bring up the part number again. It's the FL448. And also buy yourself another, if you don't have a 3D printer, of course, these are going around the internet, buy the regular battery clip. And the only mod I had to do, because the frame, the frame isn't narrower, but they run the wires right along the side of the frame. So I had to take a little bit off here. If you have the stock battery tray, it doesn't matter. It's way back here. But anyways, let me show you here. Oop, I came out of blur. But, yeah, I had to shave it here just in case it got blurry there because of the wiring. The wiring runs level with this belt. But let me put this in. Click. So, I mean, everything will work when you put this back in. The motor will plug right back into the ESC. you got plenty of slack, right? And I'm going to grab one of the biggest batteries I have. It's only a 4500. But like I said, no Velcro or nothing. What I've been doing is electrical taping them onto the battery clips so they always stay on there. And then you don't need any Velcro, and that Velcro adds extra thickness and all of that. But let me show you. Plop it in here. See, like I said, see how it just pops up a little bit? That's because of that Velcro on the bottom. Now, of course, the battery sits right there. And you got the ESC, just so you can check it out. Oop, move my battery camera thing here. Kind of what it looks like. And I mean, I don't know, it's for people that might want the battery clips. Because you, you don't have a flip open door like you do on the V3. You know, you just have a standard canopy. And I mean, let me, uh, I'm not gonna plug it in, I don't have the radio here, but I'm just gonna tuck them in a way that they kind of sit in place. Of course, you got this wire, it usually kind of bundles up, right? And if you put your stock canopy on, and if it's like a glove, 
right where it's supposed to. So it's kind of a cool idea. You just need the two parts. I think it costs you seven bucks. It's a shipping that'll kill you. I think the ESC install plate, because I had to get it for the V3 that crashed, uh, that was, um, I think, four bucks, and then a battery trace, three bucks. But it's a good modification to the V2. I don't know why this don't have 0.5, but it's the way it came from Heli Direct. But this is Cruise Roy on the FW450 V2.5 with a modification. A couple of like, drill a couple of holes and take some velcro off and remove the SE replant it and you got a fast battery clip change plan instead of velcroing it and all that crap but maybe it's for some people maybe it's not but I thought it was a cool idea I'm out of here